Hello everyone, and welcome to our lesson entitled, Get Getting Started with VBA. Today, we're going to start with the basics by learning how to set up Excel for VBA development and get familiar with the VB editor. First, let's open up Excel by double-clicking the icon and creating a new workbook. Click on the File tab. Then click on Options. Next, click on Customize Ribbon. In the main tabs, check the Developers tab checkbox. Then click OK. The Developers tab is now visible on our main tabs. Next, we're now going to open the VB Editor by going to the Developers tab and clicking on Visual Basic or pressing Alt F11. Now, this is the VB Editor window where you'll write and edit your VBA code. On the left, you'll see the Project Explorer pane that lists all the open workbooks and their sheets. You can also see the code name and sheet name that we could edit and use in our macros later on as we progress in this lesson. On the lower left part is the Properties window which lists the design time properties for selected objects and their current settings. You can change these properties at design time. When you select multiple controls, the Properties window contains a list of the properties common to all the selected controls. Here is the immediate window that is used for debugging, and here is the Watches window which is very useful when we work on arrays. Sometimes, these windows are not visible when you open up the VB Editor for the first time. So we're going to do is to click on the View tab, then Project Explorer. To move the Project Explorer pane, simply click, drag, and drop as shown. For the Properties window, click on the View tab, then Properties window, or simply press F4 on your keyboard. For the immediate window, click on the View tab again, then Immediate Window, or simply press Ctrl G on your keyboard. Then for the Watch window, click on the View tab again, then Watch window. Just click, drag, and drop on your desired location. Next, we're going to modify some settings, so let's click on the Tools tab, then click Options. Then, uncheck the Auto Syntax check because we want VBA to only notify us of an error in our line of code by simply highlighting it red, and not always giving us a pop-up menu. To change the color, font size, and font of the code texts, you may change it here in the Editor Format tab and follow this table. Take note on the numbers in the table which represent the number of the row of the color in the drop-down list.
Congratulations! You are now ready for the next lesson entitled, Recording and Running Your First Macro.